My name is Sharon Spell. I am a comedian, an artist, a podcast host, and a Golden Girls fan. All right, all right, I can pick up a cue. Picture it. Please hand me my grade book. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> That's the B. Arthur Betty White uh, pseudo feud because it wasn't even a feud. It was I think they were they're very much alike, uh, in in their careers in a way, but very unalike in like personal habits. And I think B. Arthur needed more alone time, and Betty White didn't. And I think that. There was miscommunication because of that. I wasn't there. Belgian waffles stand by the side of the road. No. You sold Belgian waffles. <laughs> you don't know what I sold. <laughs> what Rose lacks in higher education, she more than makes up for with savvy of her own. She has a very firm idea of how the world works, and it's not a view shared by everyone. And I identify with this because in my mind, I have kind of a pastiche thing happening, uh, and I make random connections, and instead of like, a to B logic, sometimes it's A to C or A to F. And so my humor, my humor is not always accessible in that way, in the same way Rose's is. And if you will, I have to use a Rosetta Stone of sorts to map out to people my thought process because I live in the real world and not a sitcom. But Rose has the advantage of living in a sitcom and the writers are going to help her land the plane, so to speak. I think of Rose's St. Olaf stories, like if I were roommates with Rose, I would listen to her stories as like ambient noise. This is exactly what happened during the Great Herring War. <laughs> the Great Herring War? Yes, between the Lindstroms and the Johanssons. Oh, that Great Herring War. She obviously needs to talk. And there are people who have not been listened to their whole lives that at some point they just need to talk. And they don't need you to respond necessarily or engage. They just need to be heard. And you can do dishes while they talk. The Johansons wanted to pickle the herring and the Lindstroms wanted to train them for the circus. <laughs> Weren't they kind of hard to see riding on the elephants? <laughs> oh, not that kind of circus. It, a herring circus. Sort of like SeaWorld, uh -huh. only smaller. <laughs> much, much smaller. <laughs> but bigger than a flea circus. Uh -huh. Estelle Getty's memory problems during the show, knowing that after the fact, you can see, you can see it. Yeah. But there was enough there in her innate talent that when she really emoted something, she nailed it. And there's an episode that gets me every time, and it's Phil's funeral. It's okay that you loved him. I did love him. He was my son. At the end, when she and Big Sally have that moment, when Angela, they have that moment, and I feel it right now, but when she says, my baby's gone. He was my son, my little boy. But every time I saw him, I always wondered what I did, what I said. When was the day that I did whatever I did to make him the way he was? What he was, Sophia, was a good man. <laughs> my baby is gone. You can listen to the Sharon Spell Show podcast. It's a comedy podcast, interview, chat show on iTunes. And you can find more information at my website, SharonSpell.com. I have live shows, uh, including Gems, a storytelling show monthly at Halyards. Uh, 
that I co-host with Molly Cameron, uh, and other things, stand up, I make art, uh, I paint your portrait, uh, you can buy some pieces from my collection. Basically, yeah, it's all at SharonSpell.com. How to stay golden Stay golden The situations unfold Stay golden Life lessons are told Stay golden Girls and boys Stay golden